Hey, so let's do a little gear review this morning. <laughs> um, I mentioned in my last video that uh, I went hunting for one of the pots that I have, thought I had <laughs> anyways, that I had gotten over the winter and had used while I was traveling. Um, well, it was a set of pots. Uh, and I really liked those pots. They were stainless steel and I can't find them anywhere. So, um, I have been used to using all kinds of thrift, thrift store finds. Little mini, you know, enamel egg fry pans and an odd lid I found. And, you know, maybe they were free or maybe they cost me, you know, a couple of dollars or whatever. And, you know, old pots like this and, you know, but thrift store finds is what I had. And I had found this really nice Cuisinart uh, fry pan on a free pile while I was gone over the winter. Uh, probably at the van build, I believe. There was, I believe it had a big spaghetti pot with it. And I think Jen took the spaghetti pot because I didn't have room for it or anything. But the fry pan's been great. Of course, it's not, um, you know, it's stainless steel. And it's wonderful. And it works great on a fire. It works great on charcoal. Um, some of you guys know I don't use propane because I'm allergic to it. So this pot's keeper. It's a, it's a good pot. Okay. So we're keeping this fry pan. <laughs> and if you come to my house and you want pans and I say, go find one and you take this pan, I'm going to hunt for you because I've lost one too many of my good pans. That's just a comment I have to make because I've lost too many pans lately. Um, currently, I'm using this little alcohol stove. It is, you know, like a European design thing. Um, I'm waiting. I finally, finally, finally found um, an Arago two burner uh, denatured alcohol stove. Anyways, um, and... Um, I was able to get some help from another um, nomadic friend, uh, Phoenix, um, and he was traveling to Utah from the East Coast. He was able to stop by the guy, in, to stop by Colorado uh, with the information I gave him and a few phone calls, um, and he was able to pick up an Arago stove for me that I found on Craigslist. And so as soon as I can connect with Phoenix, I get my new stove. Yay, 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 yay. That's going to be a big, big deal. Um, alcohol does not work really well in the wind. So it's still, and it's a little slower to cook with. Then it's not, it doesn't burn quite as fast, as, as hot and fast as, um, uh, propane does. Uh, pardon my glitches. Uh, I am still depressed, but <laughs> hey, I'm making some progress here. I'm working on it. Okay. So, um, so because alcohol does not, uh, burn as hot as propane and things like that, I sometimes when I get in a, in a, um, group situation and I see other people going really fast and making a cup of tea or coffee, I get jealous <laughs> because I have to wait, but I like waiting. And so when I'm alone, I like waiting, <laughs> but it's really hard for me to do that in some situations. All right. That, that little bit said some more of my favorite items. This tea kettle is a how light hiking tea kettle. Uh, I had one just like it once before <laughs> when I hiked on the Appalachian Trail. Um, this is made by GSI. Love this tea kettle. Um, I have, this is my second one. The first one, I was in a situation where I had to leave uh, a situation very quickly one time and I ran across a guy who was getting back on the Appalachian Trail and I asked him if he had any needs because I had my backpack with me. I had just left the trail and he said he didn't have a stove or pots and so I gave him my stove and my tea kettle um, in, order, in order to help him. And then as soon as I was able to again, and the situation was right, I got a new one. So um, this tea kettle is made with a really wide mouth so that you can also use it as a pot. 
and um, I don't prefer to do that. <laughs> I like my I like my coffee water to be coffee water, but I can use it as a pot. And I have uh, when I hiked, I did use them that way. So, how light is um, a form of uh, aluminum that has been? It's not. Uh, anodized aluminum, but it's a special blend of something aluminum that has been treated. Um, so it's a little easier to clean, but so that it heats really quickly. So the combination of a pot that heats quicker on an alcohol stove, because I do use a lot of alcohol in my life. Uh, <laughs> that sounds funny, doesn't it? Um, uh, I use a lot of denatured alcohol to cook with in my life anyway, or to heat with. Um, so if your pots can heat up quicker or the shape of your pot, we'll talk about, now we'll talk about enamel coffee pots. Another problem I have. This is a small one. Yes. It holds a little more, than, uh, maybe around a liter of of water or a quart something like that so um the shape of these coffee pots fat at the bottom narrow at the top allows the heat to penetrate the liquid inside quicker so if your flame is in that circle then your um your contents will heat faster so on on a propane stove, having pots that that heat quicker and help your heat to be distributed doesn't really matter. And on a really hot fire, you want pots that are on actual fire, like a wood fire or charcoal, but wood, mostly wood. Charcoal's different. Uh, charcoal's a little calmer, slower, uh, but it'll boil water. Um, but... Uh, a, say a campfire for instance then you want pots that have thick bottoms and that you won't burn out really quick yes early on a cold morning you you know no self-respecting cowboy is going to go very long before he has coffee in a cup in his hand because <laughs> dang it's cold in the morning and you want that nice warm cup in your hand so anyways so the shapes of pots can help you cook faster or heat things faster as well as the the, the the materials they're made out of so love how light don't have a lot of it the pots are rather expensive this tea tea kettle's not so bad it's about 26 27 dollars um enamel coffee pots not so bad i can find them at thrift stores for um i don't know four or five under ten dollars okay i my big uh half gallon one that i have now is $20 brand new on Amazon. And when I had, <laughs> once upon a time, I had one of the two gallon like Montana um, Outfitters coffee pots. Big coffee pot. That cost 50 bucks. But anyways, um, I don't have that anymore. I, I let that go to someone who was willing to deal with the attitudes of people who are around campfires these days. Um, People have changed a little bit. <laughs> anyway, so the shapes of pots, the materials of pots, because I use alcohol, help me a lot. Okay, then we have other things such as my messy RV sink. Okay, I am currently living in a... Uh, when I'm home, I'm in a travel trailer. Wow, I don't think you can see that. Anyways, sinks. Look how tiny they are. This is a little bottle of water, okay, people? Sinks are tiny. You try to put a big pot in there and wash dishes. Oh, it's a pain in the butt. So, oops, you're getting my fingers. Um, so, having smaller size pots makes it easier to wash a dish in, um, in a travel trailer because the sinks are really small. And uh, I can't... I can't clean a Dutch oven in here. Ain't no way that's happening. So those are outdoor jobs. So the smaller the pots are, plus I cook it for me. Me and Ozzy. But me, basically. And if I cook for me and a couple of people, that's cool. So years ago, um, <laughs> uh, oh, can I, Cindy, um, mechanic Mike's sister, Cindy, had given me 
a lovely fry pan. I don't know what happened to it, Cindy, but I know I've killed some fry pans in between. Anyways, it was ceramic, and you could wipe it out with a paper towel and then rinse it in the sink or whatever. Well, I went hunting for another one because it was time to get it. It was time to get another one so that for the ease of washing dishes and so we don't have to use so much oil. Um, while Aaron's been around, he wanted bigger meals and he kept saying he didn't have enough fat in his diet. And so, um, you know, I'm trying to cook with more oil and olive oil and, you know, put nuts and things and things that I'm not even supposed to eat, but whatever. So guess what? Walmart has, I didn't save the paper for this, so I can't show you the thing, but at Walmart... I got this nice little set that was hooked together like this with a piece of paper on it. And it came with a little spatula and it was like $7. So now I'm back in business with it's easier to make an egg. I like I like to have eggs for breakfast. Um, I love to make huevos con tomates um, for breakfast. Which is basically a tomato and an egg or two in a fry pan. Well, this is enough food for me. I, I've been doing pretty good with this amount of food for a long time. I've used small pans. But anyway, so now the little enamel one that was cute is going bye-bye or becoming a decoration because now I don't, now I can clean up easier. And it came with a little spatula. How nice is that? So that's a keeper pot. Um, it doesn't have a folding handle on it. That would have made it perfect. If I could have got that with a folding handle, that would have been fabulous. Well, I can't find one that way. And so until I come up with some great idea for a folding handle. And um, camp pots, um, hiking pots, stuff like that. Sometimes they're, um, th the materials are thin or they're hard to wash or whatever. There's been some pretty good um, stainless steel stuff out like, I can't show them to you, but the set that I don't have anymore. Uh, there's, um, what is the mug called? There's a stainless steel mug that a lot of people take when they're camping and hiking. And the handles fold around the pot and then you unfold the handles to drink from the cup or to eat from, or to use it as a handle to eat from the cup. Well, they now make, and I had just bought, a uh, little tiny lid that fits on top of those mugs. So you can get the mug at Walmart for about four or five bucks. And then there's this little lid that costs five bucks on Amazon that fits those. Then, and it has a couple of um, vent holes on it, which makes cooking extra things like fabulous. And then there's another set at Walmart of stainless steel um, pots that nest and it's two pots and they look just like that mug except they're bigger. And um, that's a nice set and it worked really well on wood. It worked well on the denatured alcohol. Oh, speaking of that, this little um, ceramic fry pan, it does heat fairly quickly. So it works well on my um, alcohol stoves. Um, but the big bonus is I don't have to use so much oil and the ease of cleaning on this. So that's a keeper pot. So then I treated myself. Yes, you're starting to see it. Because I I was still looking for a folding handle pot. So, yes, I kept the paper. GSI makes a pinnacle fry pan. Eight inch pinnacle fry pan. I bought it. It was under under fifteen dollars. I think it was closer to twelve. Um, it does have. It, they're, they're calling it Teflon radiance stuff uh, in it. It doesn't feel like Teflon. It doesn't look like Teflon. Um, it has pretty good uh, heat distribution. It it has some ridges on the bottom which help it not slide on stoves. It has one of my favorite features, even in home cookware, a folding handle. It's not the Coleman one. The Coleman folding fry pan, I can burn one of those up in no time flat. Because the way I cook, forget it. It's just, those 
pants. I don't know why they're still selling them. Because, probably because somebody hasn't bought one yet and they'll get their money. Anyways, nice pan. Thick enough to uh, withstand some abuse. Um, it's a pretty solid pan. I love that the handle is really solid when it's when it's attached good. It's, the handle's not going anywhere. Um, and um, the inside, you don't have to be, you don't have to only use plastic um, or wood utensils in it. But of course it will last longer if you do. It did say to be careful on an open fire that you don't get the pan too hot because I bet it would separate whatever's in here. But the lovely thing is, just like my little ceramic pan, I can wipe this out with a paper towel. And it fits in my sink. Now, it doesn't fit in my sink for me to wiggle it around a lot and slosh water in it a lot. But um, because I can wipe it out with a paper towel, I can then again make some more meals that I don't have to like mess around with the... With stuff. So I'm looking at a few more camping items, uh, camping pots, but this GSI Pinnacle 8 inch fry pan, it's a keeper. Uh, I love it so far. Um, maybe in a year or two I'll give you some new review on how it's held up, but so far so good. Loving it. Um, I, I think it's a good addition with the little tea kettle and all. Um, uh, for when I travel as well. Uh, I am going to continue to look for some pots to replace those stainless steel ones that I don't know what happened to. Um, and I kind of had the idea that if I could find ceramic pots uh, that were for camping, I might get them. Well, then I found that MSR has got um, a set of two ceramic lined um, hiking pots with um, foldable handles. I don't yet, I, I, I haven't tested them. I don't know if I would like them. And uh, they're a little pricey. And I want to wait till I get my new stove to see whether I'm going to travel with that stove or not, which I might. Uh, but I need to, to wait until I get the stove to see what I'm going to want. Um, I'm not very interested in food right now. Uh, I stopped drinking coffee again. Uh, I don't know what's going on with me in that. Um, I did go back to drinking coca -Cola and, uh, I want to get off that. So, um, I've been doing some fruit juice and sparkling mineral water. Um, don't know where my diet's going to end up. I'm unhappy with myself, but that happens when I'm depressed. And I'm not going to go on and on about that. But anyways, that's that's the review on my new pots. The uh, Walmart ceramic little egg fry pan set and the GSI Pinnacle fry pan. Yay! Nice things. Very, very nice. I've cooked in them uh, a few times this week. And beautiful pots. Beautiful pots. Let's. Uh, you guys have a great day.